Welcome, fellow RimRims, to Overcompensating Simulator with your friends Mondo, Hocus, Dr. Don, Ciala, Ice Wolf, Steak, Ironhead, Toby, Griff, Welsh, Dave, Senpai, Stinky, Britches, Hooperstank, Yolanda, and Bob. And their many space adventures where today we're probably going to get blown up, so uh, don't get too attached to them. We did some good weapon tests yesterday. Of course, we actually got into orbit, which was, which was, I think, the big thing. Uh, we, we did some good weapon tests. We, we found out that our ship is actually quite effective. Golden Armada, more like, more like nothing, because we disintegrated them basically instantaneously. Thank you to those of you who point out, I did actually miss an area, specifically this area here. Um, the, the thermal conduits in this zone weren't connected up. Now, I don't believe the thermal conduits from the bridge, uh, uh, sorry, from the reactors really matter too much besides bridge data. I think all the systems we need to be connected up were connected up anyway, and that's exactly why I wanted to pick on some early trade ships there and uh, get things get things nice and tested. Now, un unfortunately, yesterday, it did come with a, a fairly large cost, and that was, of course, our beautiful, lovely prince himself, Joris. Tragically, his, his lungs uh, exploded out of his mouth, his eyeballs popped, uh, and he died on account of him not actually having any air to breathe. Um, so what we're going to do, I, I kind of had... An idea. It's a dangerous idea. We could build Joris his own palace. Not attached to our ship, but his own little palace vessel. Uh, the only concern I've got with that is we may put him in quite a vulnerable situation. Now, if we put a ship out here with just Joris on it, and it gets bombed, you know, it is within the firing line, quite a large arc of our ship. Um, I'm a little bit concerned that it may be putting Joris's life in peril. But right now, Joris doesn't even have a life, so it is a step up. We could, um, what else could we do here? We, we need to give him life support on his own little ship, don't we? We could attach it to the bottom of our current ship. Like his own little, uh, his own little Joris mobile. That way, if we, <laughs> also, the Joris mobile is absolutely what I'm calling the thing. If we were to do something like this, just kind of off the, off the bottom of the ship. Um, you know, let's, let's, let's make it look a decent decent aesthetic. We'll build him his own little Joris Palace. Uh, attached to our vessel, but where he can breathe and enjoy life. We'll have to go find him a friend as well. Um, we might have to build a shuttle bay and go and shuttle down and get him uh, a friendly polar bear. Go kidnap a polar bear, basically, to, um, to, to, to come and be friends with him. Otherwise, he's going to be very lonely up here in space. But I think the idea of having a separate Joris craft is, is, is absolutely on brand. Um, of course, we'll make sure it's well shielded. Uh, let's go ahead and just buff that up one more time. Whoops, I was slightly too far over there. Um, let's try that again. About, about there. Yeah, that's right. There we are. So we'll make it three blocks thick. We'll fill it with, with as many shield generators as we possibly can. Make sure it's got its own meal output system. Make sure it's got plenty of recreation in there. We'll give him his own TV. I, I want Joris to have himself a palace. What we're going to have to do while they're working on that is the Resurrector Serum. Um, where's the workbench gone for that? Um, <laughs> uh, what? Hang on. Um, it was called, what was it called? Um, I, I remember it was blue. I remember I had like a little robotic arm coming off it or something like that. It's not here anymore. It's a sparkling world mod. Stop working or something like that. Please stop scanning. Please, please, please. God, stop. Jesus, hocus. Good Lord. Okay, no more of that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're all right. Thank you. Right, go and find something else to do. Refueling rocket engine. Much better. Thank you. How much crap have we got queued up now? Oh, for God's sake. Derelict destroyer. Large mech sphere. Small satellite. Like, none of these are, are what we're after. We don't want to fight just random crappy hostile ships. We want, like, the biggest and the strongest hostile ships. Russell Joris is, is basically done here. We've got to put down life support. I, I don't really care about the rest of the ship. Uh, we don't need life support in the rest of the ship. So we're just going to put it right there in the middle where Joris deserves it. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to layer down some of the Save Our Ship 2 extension soil. Maybe grow him a nice tree. Some grass to frolic in. Do polar bears frolic in grass? I don't think so in hindsight. But, you know, it'd be nice to give him a more natural environment because I can't layer uh, friggin' snow everywhere, to be honest with you. We'll also give him a premium Joris shield. We'll put it right there. Um, I've got a couple of regular nanotech shields going down as well, or at least I did plan them out. I guess they got replaced. Hang on. Um, so we'll put one like there and there there that should cover it right uh now let's bring it down another block just to be just to be sure there we go that plus the the premium joris shield that should be everything kind of dealt with there um i come out of sort of 50 arc about a four raw yeah sod it why not we'll give him we'll give him a nice little feel to frolic in in, in kind of this corner up here what have we got under animal beds do we have any oh shit 
<laughs> I was going to say maybe we have some Hyperweave left from when we were turning... Um, obviously, we were turning Devil Strand into Hyperweave into explosives. I think it was those Arcolite torpedoes or something like that. Um, but an Ascended Arco Matter Bed. Yeah, that'll do it. What have we got in terms of floors as well? Um, do we have, like, uh, we've got Arco Connection floor. I guess we could put down some of those as well. Those look quite nice. Those are ones that, like, crazy high in beauty and cleanliness. Yeah, right. Got it. There we are. Um, we need some sort of recreation for him. Now, you might not notice about Joris, he fucking loves darts. It's his, it's his favorite. Oh, there's no bloody cloth. He loves punching bags. Just absolutely adores punching bags. He's, he's an, uh, 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 a fiend for Mozart as well. So we are going to give him, uh, give him a little piano there too. Um, what the fuck else have we got here? Computer. You never know. You never know. He might want to get on, uh, oh god, there's a pun here somewhere. Give me a second. He might want to go on this pod this 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 pod <clears throat> we'll put one of those down anyway <laughs> there you are um let's see oh big tv of course he, he loves watching tv oh yeah we got an ultra screen television there for him as well uh we'll put it we'll put it yeah i guess we could put it there give him a couple of give him a couple of chairs facing that way i'm gonna give him a sun lamp as well uh polar bears obviously live in the arctic a lot of a lot of sunlight up there um and i feel like with the exception of the rare space bear, he probably is going to need some. Uh, probably is going to need some extra sunlight. Um, so we'll go ahead and give him a little little lamp. Um, put it in there n n near his frolicking spot. I think that's an okay idea. Very nice. Well done, people. Good work. I reckon. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. I was going to say we made a boatload of resurrectomex serums. If you remember, we had some queued up and we've never used any, so we don't have to worry about not having the other. What else have we got here? Was that like an AI persona call? We got 41. I love that we've got four anti-grain warheads just sitting around. Really, not a problem there. What about like torpedoes? Oh yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> problem with these assemblers, of course, is they do get a little bit out of hand if you don't uh, if you don't use them for long enough. Can we? Um, so somebody said if we right-click it in a list, it'll put it in the output slot. So if we do that, um, right-click it. Mo Mondo. No, oh, sorry. Output item. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, and we get Mondo. Use resurrect max serum on. I assume that's Joris. It's got to be. I don't think we've got any other any other people, creatures, whatever in our... Yeah, resurrecting Joris. There we are. Um, the only problem, of course, is I don't think the life support is done yet. Oh, it is. It's just not powered. Um, right. Okay. Very quickly. Fast as you like. Get that set up. Do you think we can drag him down there? Or it... I think by the time, we, even if we do resurrect him, even if the life support's online, I think by the time we actually get him down there, he's going to be dead again. So, uh, to, to not kind of prolong his suffering here, I'm going to put down um, an area for animal corpses. It's minus 100 in there. Minus 104, so we'll still be frozen. Let me get some heating there too, and then we'll resurrect him. Let's go ahead and stop that. Can I just get you to kind of put that in your backpack? You say pick up. Um, or you can keep going in the opposite direction. That's fine. There we are. Okay, so he's got it just in his inventory now. Uh, okay, nice. Okay, so that's what we'll hang on to for a little while. Let's get Joris hauled out of there. Um, so if we say, I want it to be critical, but I'm, I'm going to turn off maybe polar bear corpses. Um, that's a pretty good way to get around that, right? And then, uh, let's go orders haul urgently. And then you haul Joris. Now, you haul, haul Joris. Why, why can't we do that? Critical polar bear corpse. Maybe someone else has reserved it while we were paused. I mean, that's impossible, but... Just see if it wakes up and someone else grabs him out of there. Um, we could just output him, I guess. Hang on. Um, 18 coagulators. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Joris. Joris? Um, oops, sorry. Hang on. Items. Joris. Output. There we are. Uh, Mondo. Or Hooverstank. You'll do. Um, reserved by Hocus. Yeah, someone already got to it. We'll go ahead and move that with Hooverstank instead. Minus 120. Is that all right for him? Fuck it. We're just gonna we're gonna commit to it. I don't know quite what his survivable temperature is, to be honest with you. Um, it doesn't say on account of him being dead, so I'd assume it's irrelevant. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on. Let's go use that on Joris. Bring him back. I assume he'll still need. Maybe he'll need retaming. I really have no idea. It's not as if he's gonna go very far, is it? It's not as if he's gonna escape off the map or anything like that. Resurrect him. Oh god, this poor game. It's so slow. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are. At least the uh, the Jorah shield is in place. We've got that going for us, which is quite nice. Got some... Uh... Oh, he's back. There we are. Oh, he doesn't need taming or anything. You know, oh, that's fantastic. Rescue him. There we go. Good shit. Uh, so, I, I put down some extra little soil there, too, just to really fill out the growing zone, seeing as it was pretty much close enough. 
And I thought we could grow some hay grass or something. I don't know if you can eat it. Doesn't really matter. It was just meant for frolicking, not really for eating. But it's a nice side effect if you can actually eat that. Um, right, so you want to say output from ship freezer. Uh, sorry, output from ship freezer. Uh, preferably gourmet meals. Uh, and then we'll set a maximum of, I guess, like two. There we are. Or one. Oh, my God. We've only got one left. Bollocks. Oh, we've got some game lag. That, my friends, means only one thing. The potential end for the Joris Mobile. How's he doing, by the way? Is he up on his feet yet? Resting. Unbelievable. Look at the hay grass, though. 21 degrees. He's got himself some meals. Dr. Don's gone to visit. <laughs> I guess it's a house call. His TV's built. We are fighting the Jin Light Fighter. Hello? Oh, really? <laughs> are we? Are we really fighting it or are we uh, annihilating it? Okay. Sorry, Jin Light Fighter. Your days are numbered, my friend. All right, moving on then. By the way, we are on... Uh, what difficulty are we on? Blood and Dust. I don't know if it is difficulty based though. You know? I don't know if this is, if it is difficulty based at all. Let's go losing his fun sod it. Why not? Because I mean, at this point, at this point, surely we can we can face down most, if not all, things. Thought I had enabled Perry Persistent actually, just in case Storyteller does have an impact on things. Because I don't know if you noticed, but I was waiting basically like what was that like twenty or so minutes? Uh, oh, about forty minutes there for a single ship battle that ended up being just complete crap. Uh, just, just really a terrible little ship there. So I'm hoping we can get some big boys turning up with that. Our goal, outside of, uh, building a pretty, pretty terrible, uh, little palaces for a polar bear, we probably just want to sink the rest of our resources into coolers and, uh, into, like, this type of thing. Um, so what I'm probably gonna do here, if we make a blueprint, right, which is just kind of like, kind of like this segment, so we've got the shields, we've got the nano constructors, we've got the sub-zero coolers. I think that could work quite well. So let's... Um, I don't want to go about this. I think I want to start building them kind of around here. Build on this side first to be the most convenient. That way if we are caught in the middle of a ship battle, it won't be a big deal. Um, but yeah, we'll just we'll just build some more some more cooling rooms to give our people something to do while we wait for more ships to turn up. So we'll do something like that. Um, if we tack it on like... Tack it on like there. Remove the, uh, not the thermal conduits. Obviously, they're fine. Um, I was going to say, like, the doors and shit that might spawn in. But actually, I think we're good. I don't think any of the doors actually pasted in there, did they? Okay. And then what we need is, obviously, shield generators as a, as a pretty pretty big point of urgency. So, we'll go ahead and drop one of those there as well. Um, hull plating doesn't copy over? Oh, that's a little bit inconvenient. Ah. Um, so, now we're just going to have to put down walls first. Oh, well, shit, if that's the case, we might as well just go all in. We put a whole segment on here, then, that's just... That's just coolers. So, I, I don't want the ship to end up being a giant cube. But if it ends up a giant cube, it ends up a giant cube. I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Um, so, let's do something like something like this. And just put a giant cube segment, fill it with a floor, put a load of coolers and shit on it, too. Let's um, so make sure it is double thick. There we are. Um... I guess it won't look too terrible. I don't like it, but, you know, what else could we do here? I think heat capacity is definitely, if anything's going to screw us, it's going to be that, right? Let them mark that area down, and then we'll get some uh, get some floors on that afterwards. Everybody's top priority should be construction. Yeah, it is. Let's go ahead and stop and just kind of quickly wake them all up. Hey, get to work right now. What else do we need? Um, nano kits, which I've now got being produced kind of ad infinite and by the assembler, so that's probably not going to be so much of a concern. I just hope we're producing enough Archimatic to keep up with demand. Granted, we're not really using it. For anything now, right? So, and and we did pick up a shitload from when we dismantled all of those assemblers, and they were working all that arc out of rages. I'm actually we're probably good on that front. Hang on, let's take a look quickly. Um, Arco. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's not a, a massively urgent thing, but a few more collectors definitely wouldn't go amiss. Genuinely think it might be faster just to put Mondo and Hocus on construction and put everyone else on deliver because Mondo and Hocus are so bloody quick at building. They could basically whack things out instantly, right? So if instead we just have everyone else on delivery and hoax and mondo building shit. I mean, look look at the speed by comparison here. I mean, it's just it's just night and day. Oh, and Siala is also hopped up on Arcafirium too, of course. Right, okay, so you also get... What about Dr. Don? Dr. Don's like the only pure boy. Yeah, he's the only pure boy left. 
drug-free Dr. Don. Somehow. Oh, God. What are we up against now? Another bloody gin fighter? <laughs> ah, fuck off. How about that? How about you fuck off? I'm trying to build fucking heat sinks. Get out of here. Don't come back in this fucking neighborhood again. <laughs> I like the sound of whatever that was just screaming then. Wow. Uh, yeah, thank you. Get out of here. Right. Yeah, you can stop firing now. Much appreciated. How are we doing with heat capacity? Uh, oh, man. The heat drains so bloody fast, though, doesn't it? I don't know if I'm maybe overreacting with the heat units. To be fair, we're not taking sustained fire. So that's something to something to bear in mind. That's also why I'm not putting anything valuable in here. Like, for example, the things that use the nano kits, the, uh, the hyper capacitors or ultra heat cores, whatever they're called. Um, I don't want to put those in here until we've got some shields up in case we get... A little shit like that turning up and threading a shot through, like, the gap in the walls or something like that. For fuck's sake. Oh, close enough. That'll do. Fine. Okay, let's get some hole plating down. And I think the first thing we'll do is shields. When we've got good shield coverage, then we'll commit to actually putting some stuff in there. Might remove some of the other shields, too, in the corridors. I guess there's no reason not to do that at that point, right? Helps speed our people up a little bit as well. Oh. Okay, here we go. I think. Or it could be a crash. Brace yourself. Is it going to be a tiny little shitty awful little fighter that we are going to blow out of the sky that I have to wait five minutes for it to load in? Or are we going to face a true menace? A destroyer. A, a destroyer. A destroyer. Oh, well, like a destroyer class vessel, I would assume. Um, You're not going to be destroying ship, brother. You, you couldn't destroy a, your way out of the paper bag, am I right? Get out of here. Fucking just get out of here. Lasers, slay him. Get, get him out of here. <laughs> ah, this is never going to get old. I mean, it's going to get old when we finally fight a ship that, um, that's a bit more on our level. Then it's going to get old. Oh, what's it doing now? Oh, it just paused. I don't know why it paused there. Thank you for that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, yep. Yeah. This, this guy might take a couple of shots, to be fair, like the last guy that we fought. I'd say that. I think we are probably just going to disintegrate it entirely, aren't we? Uh, are we going to do it? Are we going to disintegrate the entire? No, we were like once it, we were like a dozen blocks off of getting rid of it. Brilliant! God knows how the fuck you survived that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, that one barely took a mechanoid dreadnought. Oh, that sounds better. That one barely took two seconds to load it. I was going to say it's probably just another little fighter ship, but this sounds a bit more on our level. Um, it's certainly an improvement, isn't it? It's certainly, it's certainly a bit more towards our, uh, our kind of power, but still, I think it's going to be a, a fucking massacre. I wonder what determines how these ships spawn in. I assumed it would have been by wealth, difficulty, you know, kind of the regular base Rimworld stuff. Um, but this is, um, this is really odd. I mean, very particular about not firing the torpedoes, by the way. That's why I'm only using the cannons. Um, specifically because the... Uh, uh, specifically because we've got these loaded with more Doom Caller. Why are they not firing? Oh, because it's literally not been that long since our last combat, huh? Wow. I guess it's because a second isn't isn't really very much a second anymore. Yep, there, there they go. Firing their tiny, tiny little lasers. Oh, look at them go. Very impressive. Aren't we all proud of those mechanoids? Any second now? By any second now, of course. I mean, many, many second now. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, goodbye. <laughs> it is never going to get old. Vanometric pieces. Oh, those are cool. What the hell are those from? Guess we'll never find out. Yep, that'll probably do it. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to see what that fucking thing was. They had a little bit of a spinal laser too. Oh, man, we disintegrated that one more than I think we disintegrated the other ship. So, I'm taking the executive de decision here based on the fact that the ship is done. You know, it's done. It works fine. Um, I've done a little bit of expansion here in the in the past kind of couple of hours. Um, emphasis on a little bit of expansion. And this is one of the reasons why I'm actually taking the executive decision here. The game is running not very healthily. Um, anywhere between 3 to maybe 20 frames a second if we're, if we're extremely lucky. Oh, God. Um... 
and then ticks per second is uh so so ticks per second is is obviously things that are happening in the game per second uh to simplify it right down there that very rarely gets above 20 as well um it's a very 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 slow experience now because all we all we're doing at this point is just building up ad infinitum right building up forever we're already quite overkill with regards to spaceship design i've had that on good authority i was actually building these rooms here by the way for um extra ultra combiners because i put down this extra room here for uh heat calls and whatnot and it, it it got rid of almost all of our arco matter entirely so before we would go to nuts on things i want to put down a new room for for basically spare ones of those um but i figured there is the opportunity in in dev mode to spawn in ships I figured, why don't we really test this thing out? Why don't we go through the entire list of Save Our Ship 2 extension ships, save the strongest one till last, which I've got the name of, um, and just go through them in order and, and see how we stack up to them one by one. I think that could be quite fun. I've loaded in the first one here. This is the World Ender Fleet. I believe we've met the World Ender Fleet before, haven't we? And I, I, I think they put up a, a hell of a fight last time. I don't think we could breach their shields because they had EMP shields. At the time, this was with uh, Hexagon Jarrus, I believe. Um, Hexagon Jarrus couldn't fight. No, it wasn't. It was one before that. It was uh, Circular Jarrus. We obviously couldn't get through their shields because they had that kind of unique aspect to them. So here it is. The World Ender Fleet. Okay. Doesn't seem too imposing, does it, at this point? This seems like something we could probably quite easily deal with. But again, it's all down to design. I may have fucked mine up monumentally. This is going to be the tr first proper, I think, first decent combat we're going to get into. I'm going to avoid using the torpedoes. I'm still going to stick to avoiding using those, um, at least up front here until we can test everything. I am really hoping we are just going to cut through it like it's nothing. I think that'd be very, very funny. Um, but probably less likely compared to all the other things we've fought, obviously. Give them hell. Let's see what we can do here. We also have the benefit of basically all of our weapons being fireable from this distance too. Oh, good lord. Oh, no. The poor little world ender boys. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, overkill, you might say. Yeah, something like that. Holy shit. And there we go. Wow. What a damn mess. That one was a bit more impressive though, huh? I think this one took a bit more of a beating. Really, really took a lot more of a beating. Uh, still went on the, uh, I believe that's the Borealis weapons coming through there. Man, it's just the lasers are... Insane, isn't it? This is what I was hoping the first Jarrus laser would be like, but of course we were way too undetected for that. Man, there you go. One World Ender Fleet basically destroyed, just taking out the, uh, the the core kind of capital hive ship there, whatever you want to call it. Very much done them in. Oh, there goes another one too. <laughs> now imagine what this would be like if we're focusing fire on one ship rather than a whole fleet. I think we can safely say that one that one was a victory. So let's go ahead and, and set those guys aside and move on to the next one on my list. Now this one I've been warned is a bit stronger. Certainly, uh, it could potentially provide a challenge was I think the way it was actually phrased. So we are now going to try and fight the infected Hellfire. I believe we've seen one before. The, the name kind of, uh, it, it kind of rings something in my memory here. So we'll see what we're up against. I don't know if we've had enough time to dissipate the heat from that last fight. To be honest with you, this is going straight in as well. We're not, we're not going to sit around. We're not going to manage heat. We're just going to go through the ball. Because at least that way, if one ship doesn't provide a challenge, we might eventually stack up to... Oh, yeah, I remember this thing. Holy shit, look at that. Wow. So this is the one we actually fought and won against, do you remember? Because we just happened to thread a shot through the, um, through the ship hole. I, I remember the bridges somewhere back here. Now, that I believe we won with the Jarrus 2.0, with the circular ship. So this is going to be an interesting, an interesting fight. We're going to aim right at the center with absolutely fucking everything again. Um, we're just, we're just going to give them everything we've got. Now this being a large-bodied ship too, we're going to actually get to see, I think, the, the the full breadth of our weaponry for once. Go for it. So again, it's been because it's such a short fight. The uh, the dragonfire cannons aren't going to immediately just pop off and kill them dead, assuming they could, of course. All right. Here we go. Weapons are closing. 
Enemy shields are broken already. All the shots are coming in the bottom here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, here we go. Microsoft PowerPoint. Oh, God. Poor Rimworld. First volley, then, did a pretty fucking good amount of damage. Uh, so we've got the actual... I remember it now that the actual bridge is in there. Um, we destroyed the last one by by managing to thread a shot through the front door. So that was pretty convenient. Um, yeah, I mean, absolutely no problems here. Just ripping that apart. I want to know what's going on with our lasers, because they still haven't fired. So we got another 13 seconds. That was the longest 13 seconds of my life. Wow. Um, everything everything else is, is firing, though, as far as I can tell. Um... Uh, are these things these things able to fire? I mean, there's not much point firing those because I, I don't think uh, I think they're only effective against shields, right? But we'll just make sure everything's going as as expected. There we are, very nice. Man, what a fucking what a mess! And more more importantly, what are they doing to us? Oh, we weren't firing those. Well, again, I think they only they only do damage against shields. Um, our shield capacity is is untouched, I believe. Heat in the rooms, untouched. Our people are just working. They're just carrying on with their day jobs, you know? I can appreciate that. How's Joris doing? Oh, he's enjoying a time in his garden. That's pretty good. It's absolute fucking chaos outside, but he's just, you know, enjoying a nice breath of, uh, of fresh air there. Okay, well, let's go back to the enemy ship. Let's see how things are getting on. Not well. Not well, to be honest with you. Once we get through here, they are, they are fucking done. Oh, God, here come all the, the shield generator depleting shots. Oh, good. I don't think they're going to do anything besides be a fancy explosion, to be honest with you. Hey, ship battle one. There we go. Very nice. Oh, what is that thing? An Arkham after infected dragon? You poor thing. <laughs> wow. What a fucking mess, huh? And now I imagine these are all going to collide and we can see the explosions in real time now. Oh, man. We did a real number on that. Now, that was kind of a mid-range challenge. I was told that that ship was meant for um, boarding and kind of taking over more than anything else, which is why it's filled with these kind of, um, you know, like these hives uh, to, to build robots and things like that. Oh, my God. It's still going. <laughs> ah! Are we actually going to cut this thing in half just from the Borealis shots? Oh, man, the reactors. I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Holy shit. Well, well, we might as well watch the rest of it explode, huh? I mean, that's just incredible. I mean, that is, that is just incredible. Look at that. There you go. And the shots on that side are now just flying straight through. Boom. One spaceship destroyed. That's another one down. That's 2-0 to Joris. Excellent work, people. <laughs> oh, what a mess. Meanwhile, just building. Just having a nice time building. You know, you know how it be. Next up, we've got the Colossus capital ship. I have a feeling we fought the Colossus before, did we not? All right, bring it on. Let's see what we've got. Oh, my God. Colossus capital ship. Uh, oh, of course. I remember you. Yeah, this was another one of those ships that we just completely bullied. Oh, yeah, how could I forget? I mean, it's a really nice design, though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I feel bad, though, because this one's quite clearly not an Arco level. This is, like, super end-level uh, base save our ship, I would assume. Um, especially when compared to ours. Oh, no. Uh, this is just being mean. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, ship. I'll just use the, the, the dragon fire cannons. Um, okay, I'll use the Borealis as well. You know what? Let's make it quick. Let's make it, let's make it quick. Uh, just to, just to kind of see it off. I don't want to make it suffer. Go on. I, I don't know if the lasers are actually able to fire yet or not, but I don't mind this is coming straight off the back of that last fight again. Lasers might still be on cooldown by a few seconds. Oh, the game did not like that. Oh! Uh, look at the heat in this room. Oh, is it over? Oh, it's overheating. Man, it's way too warm. Fucking hell. So uh, what I actually tried in this room, um, was rather than a... 
two to one ratio, uh, essentially a one to one ratio instead, and that was quite clearly not enough because the heat in there is obnoxious. Goodbye, little Colossus. I'm so sorry. Shields are down. I always, I always feel bad in situations like this because it's like quite clear that ship is a work of art. It's had so much time and effort and and design prowess put into it. And we just come in with this fucking hideous ship of mine. We're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll just put down three more power plants. And then we just hit it over the head. We just bludgeon this poor fucking ship to bits. Man. <laughs> I wish I knew how to build stuff like this. As opposed to shit like this fucking horrible monstrosity. <laughs> wow. I, I am going to let those last, um, th those last shots just kind of fly through and do whatever damages they have to do. We, we'll at least honor it in that sense. I'm not just going to blow it up and, and not watch. I mean, we've got to watch them go down with the ship here. We need to put like a dirge over the top or something, huh? Goodbye, little ship. Oh my god, Libby might survive. Oh, well. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that'll just about do that. Wow. And there you are. The Colossus. That one we'd already fought before. Uh, that one that one was just cruelty at this point. That was cruelty against nicely designed spaceships. So our next ship of choice is the Orbicasus, which I've been told is very nice to look at. Um... Again, another ship I'm going to feel very bad about potentially just blowing out of the sky here. I'm leaving, like I said, specifically the two boss ships to to last. Let's see if those can give us a bit more of a run for our money here, especially because we are letting the heat tick up here. Dragon fire cannon still on cooldown. All right, what have we got this time then? Orbicasus. Oh, man, that's nice, huh? Wow, that's really nice. Way better than any of the shit we've produced. This is what I think I'm building when I take the hexagon tool and... Uh, and the spherical tool and build a ship. This is what I think I'm making. Um, and then it always just ends up looking like a penis. Anyway, okay, let's see what we can do then. I think it would be good to put the shots here. Because it's going to hit the kind of gun emplacements. And maybe we'll go through the bottom anyway. I'm not entirely sure what determines um, kind of which direction. I might even send the ship forwards a little bit too. See yet quite how fast we can move. Because we've not tested that yet. I want to see if this thing has some serious fucking haste behind it, basically. Go little ship. Fly. Like the wind, Joris. Uh, it's not actually that quick. And I, I'm really not that surprised, to be honest with you. Um, we've, got, we've got plenty of engines. I think we could outrun quite a lot of stuff. But for its size, it's not actually that... You know, it's not actually that good, realistically. <laughs> That'll do. Go on, then. Stop. Select everything. I, again, I don't want the torpedo launchers. Do they automatically select? Oh, they do. Okay, see, that's, that's not what I want. I want to save the torpedoes for a rainy day. Um, let's get the dragon fire cannons aimed and ready. We'll go for the center module. I still think that's the right one. We'll get you guys firing down here. We'll get you guys firing, I don't know, up here or something. Try and cut it in half. And then we've got the, uh, the, the Dagons, which are just there for decoration, I'll be honest with you. Oh, right, of course, the uh, banisher cannons. Just fire at the center. Okay, so the lasers are actually offline this time. That's interesting. All right, here we go. Oh, that's a lot of firepower coming in. Uh, it would seem that their ship is full of snakes. If anything, we're doing them a favor at that point. Oh dear. The poor little Orbicasus. Gone. Reduced to atoms. My god, wow. That was, um... That was good, though. You know? That guy... I, you've got to give credit to the Orbicasus there. It did not once cut its engines. It was charging right at us. Right up until it was, it was destroyed. There go its last wings there. This one will have survivors, though. Definitely. Definitely survivors from the Orbicasus. Oh, look at that. They're crypto sleep caskets. 
remained intact to float through space for the rest of eternity. Then we, they, they don't need power, of course. Um, crypto sleep casket. So maybe we'll have some uh, some people come and looking for revenge. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, dear. <laughs> I thought some of their guns were going to survive there, too. Wow, look at that. Once again, our, our shot's cutting clean through the... Uh, clean through the ship. Wow, there you are. Enrique and Lester, tell the tale of what you saw here today, my friends. The tale of Joris. Abandoned enemy ship. So there are two ships left, which are probably worth us fighting. Both of them are, are so-called boss ships. So this is going to be fairly interesting, I think. I've got to pull up the names for them here quickly. Um, I believe one is the... I, I believe one is kind of the upgraded version of the other. So we'll fight the smaller boss first. That'll give us kind of an idea of what the next one is also going to be. But I believe the second variant of it is much more well-armed. SOS add-on boss world ender. Have we already fought the world ender fleet? Or am I going mad here? They're the ones with the shields, right? Or am I going... Maybe I am going mad. Oh. No, no, no. This wasn't the one we fought earlier. Oh, good God above. <laughs> oh, this is, this is where we want to be. Um, wow. It's like us with the ascended shields. Halo. Oh, it's weaponry seems a little less than ours though. Look at this. It's got a few of the, um, a few of the kind of Borealis, Dagon turrets, whatever else, I like turrets. This one's nice though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we've got then. Uh, now this time. I'm more than happy to fire everything. So let's go. Let's go lasers. How long have we got on the lasers? 8.3 seconds. Oh, no. Fire at the center. Just everything at the center. It's quite a rounded ship. So, so you know, we're going to hit something here. Um, let's just grab everything we've got. Borealis. Give me some of those Dagons. Um, I think we've already gone for the Artlight Cannons, but just in case. I think we also did the Vanishers, but fuck it. Why not? Um, let's fire our... New Dawn Spinal Laser. We've got the, the, the Dragon Fire Cannons. And then finally, Torpedoes, save them. Save them if push comes to shove. Yeah? I think that's not a bad idea. Shots are away. I can't even fit the ship on the screen. Oh my god, look. Its shields cover the whole map. I didn't even take it into account. Fuck, this thing is going to be hard as hell to get through. Oh man. Is this an actual proper fight we've got on our hands, you say? We didn't even touch it. We didn't even touch it. So the question is, who's going to do the most damage? I mean, we've got the most weaponry here. The question is, can our heat capacity deal with us firing everything we've got and also taking their hits at the same time? Because I still think heat capacity is our big weak point here. Holy fuck. The lasers, brother, they do nothing. It really is going to be a showdown of heat capacity, isn't it? Oh, come on. Come on. Our what has broken to what? How have our shields broken to a lack of heat capacity? What are you talking about? Uh, I would like a refund on my... Oh, I mean, those ones, sure, because that's still a work in progress. But these ones? How has that happened? Lack of heat capacity. I don't understand. I mean, that one's on, though? No, it's not. How in God's name has this happened? <laughs> what? I mean, there's quite, there's quite sufficient heat capacity, in my opinion, but maybe that's just me. I mean, some of these rooms are... I mean, this one up here, look, minus 261 degrees C. It's still fucking absolutely freezing in there. Literally absolutely freezing. Okay, you boys are going to have to get out of the um, in-construction section then. Just because I have a feeling they're going to punch through it before we can actually get it all online. How in the fuck did that break? It's a bit bizarre, isn't it? Can we get someone over there to fix it quickly? Maybe they can just randomly... Maybe. Maybe it just randomly broke. How's that for possibility? Maybe it just randomly broke down. One of these fucking lasers firing again. 6.1 seconds. I'm going to fire off the fucking... The secret weapon. I'm going to fire off the secret weapon. This guy is the end game boss, correct? We've got ourselves some very fancy Doomcaller torpedoes loaded. Some very fancy Doomcaller torpedoes. Give them hell. I don't think this will be enough. 
but it might. Ha 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 ha! Kill! Destroy in the name of Joris! Oh god, that ship over there is getting pounded, isn't it? Mondo, 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 repair. Hocus? Repair. I assume they just need regular components, huh? Goodness, what happened here? Siala. Rep no, need components. What the hell are you talking about? How many components do you want? How many components have we got? 2,000. How many advanced components? I have no idea. That could be a problem. He what? He... You, you've done what to Mondo? Architect Borealis hypercondensed Arco Matter. He has been well and truly wiped from existence. Holy fuck, they got through the hull. And I'm not entirely sure how it happened. Because we've still got heat capacity. I don't know why the shields broke, I'll be honest with you. Um, I was under the assumption that as long as you had heat capacity, your shields basically stayed online. And the, these kind of big end of game ship fights were... Wow, that's loud. Um, I, I assume they were kind of endurance contests between which ship could break the other shield first. But these guys are apparently cheating. What the hell do you mean Welsh Dave is dead? Died in an explosion? Welsh Dave? Oh. <laughs> um, so they all decided to go work on that side of the ship again, huh? I did draft them up, but of course the drafting won't last. Um, the length of this quite ridiculous ship fight. Okay, get them out of there. Um, we'll just go ahead and cancel all the shit that they've started on because we're never going to get it done. Um, let's go ahead and just, just, just cancel it all. Just, just fucking cancel the lot, huh? Oh, Uber's tank! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're okay. We're gonna specifically just forbid them in the, the residential area. Um, <laughs> ready for the ship to come collapsing in around them, because I don't think we're gonna win this, I hate to say it, people. We are almost at maximum heat. I have some things that I found out, actually, over the course of this battle that may have contributed to fuckery. Let's put it that way. Um, but we'll talk more about that when when we either win or when we lose. We are about to cross the real life one hour threshold for this boss fight. Bear in mind the boss fight began 22:25 according to uh, according to the in-game clock. It is now 23:22, and we are still pounding away. But I have chosen this moment to to jump back in because, as you can see. Our heat is about to reach critical mass. At this point, there is nothing we can do. We can escape or try to escape. But as we've seen before, um, Fat Joris Ascendant, very slow. Extremely slow. Never going to be able to escape. Um, or at least not easily. I think this is the end. Uh, you know, I, I, I gave it all I had. Uh, I, I, I thought that it would be enough. I thought this, this ship would be overkill. Um, and, and in reflection, there are a lot of things I did wrong with it. Obviously, the, the first one was massively overestimating the amount of energy we needed and massively underestimating the amount of feet. If we replace, say, this entire area, uh, if we got rid of all the power plants and replaced it with just more cooling instead, this could be a very different fight. The, the energy was way too over, overzealous for what we needed. I assume these dragon fire cannons, especially building another 12 of the fucking things, would really put a lot of pressure on. Turns out it was quite the opposite case. Um, you know, they, they train out a lot of heat, but actually in the grand scheme of things, the power is more or less irrelevant. Trying to build the ship mid-space battle was was definitely not recommended, but I thought it'd be good to do. I mean, I mean, if we'd have got it right, and if we'd have kind of got this finished before we got into ship combat, it probably would have been fine. The big problem, which I have to address, because this is the reason why Mondo died, is down to the shields that we have active right now. Uh, the, the, the Arco Matter shields. So we're, we're obviously using um, 
We've currently got these nanotech shield generators on the edge of the ship, right? They're using the larger versions of shield generators, um, but they are just the kind of regular shield generators. As far as I know, you see they've got that kind of um, hexagonal lattice, uh, which is also the name of my uh, brutal deathcore slam band. Uh, but you can see that those compared to the Arco... They're definitely not Arco shields, is the point I'm getting to. They're traditional shields, which means that we're not doing anything wrong here. It's the fact that they have a disgusting amount of feet capacity that we couldn't penetrate ultimately um yeah that's that's a real that's a real pain in the ass i still think that the right way to go about it is to not have the residential area is to not have the big growing zones is to not have the factories on board or anything like that but it's instead to have the ship in orbit and here we go the ship is about to go down now have the ship in orbit and have the um have the stuff basically shuttled up have consistent back and forth shuttles picking up fuel, picking up pods, picking up torpedoes, whatever it happens to be. Because in this situation, we're using up a lot of the ship for, for I mean, essentially, I would say about a sixth of the ship there for things that don't directly correlate to survivability. We could have got by with one bedroom and just had Hocus on board. And that would have worked a lot better. Um, that being said, I guess we'll watch it go down. Because there is uh, that is it now. This is this is the end of things. Um, wow, that's really tragic, isn't it? It's probably going to take a while to obviously eat through the hull. Uh, it's definitely going to take a while to cut through some of the larger Arco shields. Oh, I say that, but that's quite clearly a lag fest explosion. Oh, here we go. Oh, my poor vessel. Now, what I am going to do while I get the final touches on the mod pack for next series, I am going to. Go into dev mode in a space map with a single colonist and I'm going to build a ship in dev mode, which I think might be capable of taking on this fucking beast of a ship that we're fighting right now. I, I want to see quite what it would require. I want to actually put some finesse and some actual, um, you know, design into it that isn't limited by how much our people can carry or how many resources we've generated leading up to this point. I just want to see what I can do with it, basically. It's a fun, like, little extra side episode just so I wait for the series to, uh, no, next series to be kind of finalized. Wow, that's a real shame. I genuinely thought it would do better. I really did. And this isn't even the strongest variant. Um, this is the slightly, the slightly weaker version. The other one apparently has more guns, so would have got our heat capacity knocked down way sooner. I didn't even know if we were close to being able to take their ship down. I don't think there's anywhere we can examine it, unfortunately. Um... Have we got any, like, external cannons we can click on here? See if I can just pan around. Oh, I'm not going to risk it because I feel like I might crash the game. Um, we can click on... I don't know. What have we got here? What is that? Is that a big thermal cable? Will that tell us? What about one of their lasers? Um, I mean, look at this. In terms of DPS, we actually did out-damage them. So... I mean, also to consider our heat grid is going to be increasing much faster than theirs because we've got more weaponry. We did way more damage to them. 1.5, uh, big number, um, out of 5.6 times 10 to the 8. Uh, so they had six times our heating capacity, essentially. And I have no idea how the fuck they pack it into a ship that size unless every flat surface is, is cooling. You know, that is, that is insane. That's absolutely madness. Wow. So yeah, we can see we were, in, in terms of heat, we stood no chance. In terms of power, we were doing pretty well though. How many digits is that? If someone else can count that up. Uh, in, in terms of power, too much overkill. But yeah, wow, this ship had uh, five times our calling. We were never going to win. We were never going to win. That was doomed from the get-go, unfortunately. And now our poor ship gets to, uh, gets to melt. I may just drop the shields because we can't. Our guns can't fire right now. So I think strategically the best option is drop the shields, you know? Let their shots bounce off the Arco shields, which they can only get through with an EMP, and allow our guns to keep firing.
Well, this has been going on now for approximately two and a half real life hours. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, we knew, we knew how it was going to go down, but the best news of all, Joris, Joris is untouched. He is undefeated. He is undamaged. And what I never told any of you is that his palace is secretly an escape pod. Uh, uh, that is the end of our adventure. We failed. <laughs> For lack of a better word, a, a failure. A monumental failure. To be fair, this is this is the hardest ship in the game, uh, except for the other ship, the um, uh, the, the upgraded variant of of this vessel. It might not even be upgraded; it might just have more guns or less heat or something like that. Um, but the variant of this ship is the hardest in the game. I think it was just it was just design flaws ultimately. Um, again, it would be better to have one pilot, minimum wreck area, no factories producing anything, and just way more heat and way less power. So tomorrow's episode will be a kind of special one-off episode where we just try and design in, in god mode the best ship possible, knowing everything we know now. Uh, absolutely everything that we've learned from scratch. And because it's in god mode, we can just do whatever we want with it. We'll have one character on board, so it should be relatively, relatively lag-free as well. And we'll see if we can design something capable of taking out a, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. There, I said it. <laughs> he said the line. It was good though. It was good being able to, to design these ships and actually getting into the um, you know, getting into the weird side of things, the, the kind of fantasy, if you want to call it that side of things. If you're interested, of course, go check out Save Our Ship and by extent Save Our Ship extensions and by extent the incredible Joris Torpedo mod by Dutchman, uh, which I'll be making sure I link just about everywhere. I've linked in the Discord multiple times in general announcements. If you're interested, featuring voice acting from. Yours truly, that's right, me myself. Uh, so go and check that out if you are if you're at all curious about that. Thank you all for watching. I think I will leave you with the best boy of all. Little Joris. Goodbye, little Joris. <laughs>